Hey guys, uh, Thunder E here, and join me on my ride in the brand new Kia Telluride 2023. This car is pretty cool, honestly. It has been a joy to drive. But let's start with just the design of what Kia has actually brought to the table. The Telluride, this is the first time I've actually been in the Kia SUV. Uh, it's a seven-seater SUV. This is the Telluride uh, uh, X-Line. And uh, price-wise, you're looking at like 45,000. Of course, you can customize and all that stuff. But at that price package, you're getting quite a lot. Now, physically, this thing is stunning. I love the way it looks. I love that gray and black color. I didn't think I would, but looking at it, uh, you can just look at the car side profile, front profile looks great. The black grille with the Kia logo looks really nice and is very solid. I like the appeal and look of this. This car also comes with uh, a sunroof and the moonroof. Uh, you can see the moonroof at the back covers both the second and, and some of the third row. And then of course you got a sunroof uh, right here. Has a manual cover. This is one of my only gripes here. I don't like that. I wish it was automated, but it really isn't that hard to actually close. So, you know, styling outside, the car looks great. It looks fantastic. It feels nice. You've got 20 inch rims. When you open up the hood, you've got a 291 horsepower engine V6. Really nice, great for performance. And I like it. Now, step it in, into the car. You sit down, you're greeted with a lot of luxury that you shouldn't find at this price point, right? First start off, I like the two-tone color system they have here. I've got this nice brown leather, aerated leather seats. You've got this nice soft fabric on the top. It's darker. Uh, four wood panels. I wish it was wood, but hey, look, we're not complaining. Uh, and you've got this nice massive wraparound display. Of course, the two displays here, center console, of course, the, uh, your dashboard. Now, below that, there are buttons for your navigation, volume, all that fun stuff. Steering wheel is heated. It is comfortable to use. Um, and of course, you've got onboard controls on the steering. Like, of course, uh, you know, your hands-free driving, which is great on the highway. Uh, it works really well when you have car, you know, you know, marked lanes. If you don't, it actually doesn't recognize it. So the cameras outside are using that. Speaking of cameras, you've got cameras, 360 camera view all around. You also have cameras for your blinkers. So as you're trafficking left or right, when you hear that noise, you actually see the camera. So you don't necessarily have to look. You can look right in front of you and you will see exactly what cars are behind you. I love that. I wish every car should actually have that in there. Now, the seats themselves are, you've got heated and cooled seats overall. I like it. It is really awesome. The reason I like that is because um, this also matches with the climate control. So you can have it automated where if you say drop the temperature and you want it really cool, then your seats will cool with you. So it's not just the seats, the seat bottom, but the seat back as well. Now, this is also an option on the second row, which is nice to have. So I like that as well, uh, having hidden cool seats on the second row um, of the vehicle. So awesome there. Now, the one thing I don't necessarily like though is the fact that you know your drive modes are right here by your shifter basically you know your park and reverse drive but you've got comfort you've got uh sports you've got uh smart echo and snow now to change those modes uh if you kind of memorize it it's easy to turn the dials but honestly it's something that you most likely would have to look like at and i really don't like that idea on that which was something where it was maybe by the paddle or somewhere on the steering wheel making it easier now i'm on the highway and driving this car is just super smooth very comfortable if i turn on the uh hands-free controls you can see my hands are off uh, of course they always tell you to put your hands on the wheel but it does a good job uh just keeping me in lane it is super great uh, again very just very very simple feature now cool thing this car is that this car blocks out a lot of noise a lot of outside noise on the car which is great so uh you don't hear a lot of the road traffic and all that stuff while you're driving uh keeping it moderately quiet in the car as you move around now looking at those two clusters in front of me you know um as you change those drive modes you actually your cluster will change uh to match whether it's sport or snow or you know all, all that fun stuff your entertainment cluster itself is simple 
I like it because it's simple and it's pretty much straightforward. So, you know, you can go in, look at your maps, you can hit the buttons to go to say media or change track, or you could use it on the screen as well. And then you could also go to just the main menu. Now the main menu has you know, your climate controls for both front and rear. You've got quiet mode. Quiet mode is cool because it uses the speakers and these are uh, Harman Kardon speakers. There are speakers all around the device everywhere, which is nice. So you hit quiet mode. Basically you can have say um, music in the front and quiet at the back if you have kids that are sleeping so that you don't have the sound just blurring all over the car, which is great. And then you also have the passenger talk. Now again, if you've got kids, you know this is probably going to be very useful for you, is you've got kids at the back in the third row and they're fighting or yelling, you hear passionate talk and go like, hey guys, quiet down. Or if you've got friends in the car, a ton of you want to talk to somebody specific at the back, you can do that too. Simple, it's easy. Now, the in internal design aesthetic is super cool, really nice and clean. I like the spacing on the seats. That's enough space in the second row as well as the first row. I am taller. If you're above 6'2", uh, you will you should find the seats comfortable enough, but it doesn't extend all the way back because of that second row. Now, as I mentioned, this is a seven row SUV. Uh, so there is a third row. And that third row for someone who is my height is not that comfortable. So it's more for uh, anyone, you know, lower than six feet tall, I would say, and also kids as well. Uh, but it is still spacious enough where you can sit down, you just will be cramped. Uh, that's just something I just have to mention there. Now, the other thing about it is that, of course, you can drop that third row down and give you more trunk space in your vehicle. And the trunk space in here, um, without the third row down is decent. You can put a piece of luggage or something like that. But once you drop that third row down, you've got enough space to basically uh, to stuff all the things you want to actually put in. And then you can also drop these second row seats and then you've got more space in the car. Now, what about the driving experience? That's the next thing you want to, you really care about the car because that's why you buy a car. How does it feel driving around, all that stuff? It is comfortable. It is comfortable to drive. Um, it felt really nice on the highway. Um, and if you want more power, you definitely want to go into sports mode. But I like the fact that it felt smooth, it felt comfortable going over, uh, of course, potholes and stuff like that. Didn't feel like I was, you know, uh, jumping all over the place. Um, the drive again, like I said, just a very smooth drive and felt, you know, kind of luxurious in a way uh, for a car that isn't priced like a luxury, you know, SUV or a luxury car in general. So I do like what Kia's done here. Now, uh, a couple of things that also I think every car company should copy is the fact that they've got USB ports everywhere and USB type C, by the way. So in front, uh, uh, underneath the uh, media controls and of course temperature controls you've got your wireless charging pad you've also got USB type C and then you've got uh, a regular USB now you open up your center console here you've got a charger as well a 12 volt charger and then when you go to the to your second row you actually have charging built into the uh, uh, the sides of the two front seats, both USB Type-C. So you can just plug it in and charge there. And in the third row as well, there are two on the sides of the third row. Uh, so again, anyone in the car can fully charge the device and not have any issues. That is cool. That is really nice. And I love to see that there. Again, that to me is something that's solid and very simple with a car like this. I think overall my experience in the Kia Telluride uh, 2023 has been pretty cool. I like the car, I like what Kia's done, and I like this kind of styling in here. Um, hopefully we get a Telluride that is an electric as well. Uh, I would say on gas mileage, uh, it is decent. Uh, it just doesn't have a very big tank. Uh, so of course, it's an SUV, you know what to expect in terms of gas mileage uh, on the highway. Um, right now it's telling me I'm doing an average of 14.4 miles per gallon. It actually shows you on screen while you're actually driving. So that's cool. One more thing to mention, there is a heads up display and heads up display is also connected to your collision uh, detection. So, you know, if there's a car coming close to you, uh, it will, you'll see the collision detection on your side mirrors and also directly on the heads up display will point at to what side. If there's a car in front of you in traffic and it's moving, boom. Uh, it will tell you, hey, car's moving, go ahead and move. If you're driving in the wrong way, the car will try and slow down 
and tell you, hey, you're driving the wrong way on the street because you're also using the maps, tiny to let you know, hey, don't get into an accident, right? You're driving the wrong way. So those are some pretty cool things in this car that make it very unique. But, um, well, that's that's all I have to say. And I really like my experience driving the Kia Telluride. Let me know what you think about the car, what you've seen. If you like this style of videos, I, I want to do more car videos. I know I've talked about that for a while, but hopefully you like this style and I'll definitely try and bring more videos to you. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment.